Hi everyone, Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Happy Wednesday and happy new release day. It's our first live look at 2021 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball 6 box. Pick your team number one. No vet common chip. Case one and two are from the same case. We're doing a half case break. Each box has a couple autographs, but there are um, autograph hot boxes, which has five autographs in there and um, numbered parallel hot boxes as well. I think there's two of them. So four of the 12 boxes should be hot, hot, hot. Very big thanks to this group right here for making this happen. I appreciate it. Wednesday the 6th, pick your team one. Thanks, everybody, for picking your teams. No fillers. Appreciate it. And there it is, the fresh case, 2021 Donruss Optic Baseball. So let's pop this baby open. Let's see which six boxes we're going to do. So there's six boxes on the left side and six boxes on the right side. Let's select a die. And we'll go with that one here. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Two. Do the left side right here, and this right side we will do next time. So let's. So we'll mark those boxes too, so we know they're from the same case. And pick your team two. Let me just look really quick. Live look on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pick your team two is down to 10, 10 teams left. So we can r run that back fairly fairly soon, I would think. All right, thanks everybody. And good luck. We got Christian Yelich on the front. We're looking for hot boxes. Yeah, so should be a lot of fun. Thanks everyone for getting in. Brand new release just dropped today along with Panini Origins Football. Thanks everybody for making this happen. Appreciate it. We've got a little poll going on the website, uh, going on the chat actually. So if you're watching live, you can vote in this poll if you haven't done so already. Um, posted this a couple hours ago, 60 votes. Who wins tonight's NL wildcard game tonight? St. Louis is in Los Angeles. Adam Wainwright on the mound for the Cardinals. Max Scherzer on the mound for the Dodgers. According, at least according to Vegas, the Dodgers are heavy favorites here. And uh, and according to the 60 people that voted so far, 70% think the Dodgers are going to win. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be a tough matchup. Cardinals are playing good baseball. Dodgers ended the season strong too. Interesting thing, an interesting note is that uh, it's a five o'clock game time. Five o'clock game time at Dodger Stadium. So shadows are going to come into play, I think. Which might be advantageous to the two starters. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. It's Christian Javier to 149. Yerman Mercedes, rated rookie hollow. Rated prospect, Spencer Torkelson. That's for the Tigers. That'll go to Coppola. The Christian Javier will go to the Strohs, Jonathan. And there's Zach McKinstry for the Dodgers. Rated rookie hollow. For Oliver and the Dodgers. I think Oliver's going to the game tonight. Go Dodgers.
Chad, so you posted those pictures of your Joe Burrow in a Facebook group, and everyone's saying, don't clean it, and you'll get an eight on the surface. So are they saying, do clean it? 003 out of 125, Jay Cronenworth. Padres, that's going to go to Abram. It's Matthew Libertor, rated prospect, hollow. And Daz Cameron, rated rookie. That's for Detroit. Shane McClanahan, rated rookie hollow. I like these uh, unleashed inserts as well. And there's there's an even better one right here. Hollow unleashed Aaron Judge. Rough game for the Yankees last night. Nolan Ryan lights out, insert, Will Crow, and we got a Mickey Moniak autograph for the Phillies. Jeremy Razor with Philadelphia. From Encinitas. Well, North County, San Diego. Will Crow, Blue Laser, 99 out of 99. For the Pirates, that's going to be for Ethan. And then Jordan Alvarez, Mythical Insert right here. Do, uh, no, all cards do not ship on this. In every break... Andrew will clearly state in the item description whether all cards ship or not. And it says uh, no veteran commons ship. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are... Das Cameron is that photon. Are these as short printed as the other... Are these as short printed as the ones in basketball? Or the other ones we've seen in previous product? Yeah, it's listed as a parallel, but no other information. I don't know if they're as short printed as the as the ones in, uh, was it basketball that we were doing? So we'll sleeve that up just in case. That's for Icapola and the uh, the Tigers. Yeah, Rebel saying Beckett doesn't specify it as a short print or a case hit. Yeah, there's a lot of parallels here. I'm just I'm kind of glancing at there. Yeah, there's a there's a green dragon parallel out of 88. I wonder if that's just the dragon scales that we've seen in like the uh, in like the choice Panini choice products. But there's a ton. There's Carolina blue and white, Crisis, Hollow, Lime Green, Photon, Pink, Red Wave, White Sparkle. Pink Velocity to 249, red, white, and blues to 199, black stars, orange, red dragon, blue velocity, Pandora, Pandora blue, Pandora purple, Pandora red, green dragon, spirit of 76, which is out of 76, blue to 75, red to 60, Carolina blue to 50, freedom to 45, liberty to 45, freedom! Teal Velocity to 35, Black to 25, Gold to 10, Cracked Ice Blue to 7, Cracked Ice Green to 7, Cracked Ice Red to 7, Green is out of 5, Black Finite 1 of 1s, Eagle 1 of 1s, Gold Vinyl 1 of 1s. 
Man. A lot, yeah. Ryan, you're right. It's the parallels that make this that make this product for sure. That's what makes this fun. Like that Starling Marte blue to 75. There's blue velocity to 99. Jose Abreu, White Sox, Kayshawn. Starling Marte will be for Miami. That is going to go to Alex. And another Mickey Moniak autograph, this time rated rookie red and on card for the former number one overall pick, if I'm not mistaken. I think injuries kind of kind of derailed his uh, start. Yeah, number one overall pick back in 2016. I think a lot of people expected him to be called up a lot earlier. But maybe a late bloomer. That's okay. Sorry, that's not scratch on the surface of the top loader, not the card. Nice one for Jeremy Razor and the Phillies. And I'll, I'll do a... Uh, I'll do an autograph recap at the end of this too. 17 out of 149. There's the Stars parallel. Brady Singer for the Royals. Chris Parent. Sammy Sosa. Got another Royal right here. Edward Olivares. Carolina Blue to 50. This might be the a parallel hot box to 249. To 76, yeah, this might, this is the parallel hot box here. So every pack will have a numbered, a numbered insert. There's Jose Abreu for Kayshawn and the uh, White Sox. There's Tucker Davidson to 125 for the Braves. It's TJ, there's Esteban Floriel to 60 for the Yankees. Reese Hoskins to 199. Brian Reynolds for the Pirates to 249. Dylan Carlson to 349 for the Cardinals. That'll go to Mark. We got more Dylan Carlson to 99 on this one. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 149. And Kiebert Ruiz, Dodgers Edition, Signature Series. Oh man, Ryan, come on, man. You're already asking for Nat, Nats and Mets? We're only one and a half boxes in. Come on. <laughs> Can't do that. Oliver Soria with the Dodgers. Nice. There's Carlos Correa to 35. Astros, that'll be for Jonathan. Shirt and Apostle to 199. Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 199. Yachty to 249. There's Kyle Lewis to 75. Trevor Story to 125. Sandy Alcantara to 50. All right, so there was your parallel hot box. <laughs> Come on, Oliver, don't rub it in. All right, so um, there's two parallel hot boxes and two autograph hot boxes. Um, allegedly, at least according to Panini, maybe that maybe that's an on average sort of situation or something like that. But we've got one parallel box down, one more parallel box to go. Still have not seen an autograph hot box yet. And we were talking about this yesterday, but it's official now. Um, Padres manager Jace Tingler officially officially fired, officially let go. So it looks like both the, for now, both the Mets and the, uh, the, the Mets and the Padres both looking for, looking for new managers. What other teams are about, are, are there going to be any other teams that are going to lose, that are going to lose managers or, or is that it? All right. 
box three, pick your team one. So the second half of the case, boys and girls, um, again, is in the store right now, down at eight. Eight teams left. Ethan says Aaron Boone gets fired if he doesn't win tonight, or last night. Aaron Boone, after last night, Ethan wants Aaron Boone fired. Mark B saying Dave Roberts, if he doesn't win tonight, gets fired. I don't know if Dave Roberts will get fired after this one. I don't think Roberts is going anywhere. Dave Roberts has probably built enough credit where he's he probably has to have whether whether you like it or not he's gonna have to have a couple couple bad seasons in a row, you know where like everyone's healthy but just a couple bad seasons in a row before before he's even on on a warm seat. Aaron Boone was that game on Aaron Boone last night, Ethan? I don't know what was that third base coach doing, waving uh, Judge around. Wait, Rebel, were you saying something earlier about? Do you have some more information on that, or some post game information? They were they were trying to justify that move. I don't know. I, f I felt like that kind of killed that rally, or that impending rally, the beginnings of a rally. There's out of sixty, Kyle Lewis. Come on, it's going to be right side up and upside down. Luis Robert, Unleashed Hollow. I don't know if these are short printed or not, but I kind of like those Unleashed cards. Oh, well, someone was saying something about that about that earlier. Like, like there was a decision that they were saying that, oh, we did it because dot, dot, dot. There's Christian Javier for the Strohs to 125. And a nice Cabrian Hayes auto. Yes, rated rookie on-card auto Cabrian Hayes. Ethan Selby with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Right, yeah, Phil Nevin was the third base coach. Yeah, it seemed like he was waving him around. Uh, you know, be before Judge was even reached third. It just seemed unnecessarily aggressive at that stage of the game. Their shirt and apostle to 249 for the Rangers. That'll be for Patrick. Mark B is saying he had a, Dave Roberts had a lucky year last year. Previous playoffs made some bogus pitching calls. Yeah, I can't say that I can fully, you know, fully back Dave Roberts because sometimes he does make some head-scratching decisions. But I'm not on the fire Dave Roberts train either. I guess I'm kind of, kind of on the fence about Dave Roberts. And there's Ryan Weathers. He's going to have a new manager. Padres. Abram with the Friars. No, I feel you. I, I, I just don't know. It, you know I, I don't know if push comes to shove, if I have a stance. On, <laughs> I'm just on the fence about Dave Roberts. There's Jared Kalanick, rated prospect hollow. I think he ended the season pretty strong. For the M's, that's going to go to Chad. All right, halfway through this half case break. Okay, so Rebel looked it up. He said he was hoping for a hop, and he thought the relay would be late getting to home. All right, I see. What more do I want from the guy? Yeah, I don't, that's why I can't really say that. You know, can't really say that he should that he should be fired if he doesn't. You know. You know. Now, yeah, Dave, Dave Roberts has a pretty long leash, I think.
Carl, so who do I have winning in the Bravos Brewers series? I, I'm I'm leaning Braves. I I'll, I have to look. I, I, quite honestly, I've I've been so 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 much more concerned about this NL wild card game here that I haven't really thought about the other series just yet. But from from my gut, I would be I, I'd be leaning Braves. I don't know how much that Devin Williams uh, over exuberance, you know, and him hurting his hand will hurt the Brewers bullpen. Maybe not in a single game, but but maybe over a series that might be uh, that might be a little dangerous, right? And the Braves kind of overcame the kind of overcame the the loss of Acuna Jr. Which was I think, which I think was huge, which made the team believe Austin Riley is kind of getting back to where a lot of people thought he'd be. Um, they've got some strong starting pitching, so I kind of like where how 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 they've been how they've been playing. Um, yeah, Max Fried, Ian Anderson, I like those guys. They've got a pretty solid bullpen, I want to say. You know, Freddie Freeman, Albies, obviously, Austin Riley playing well. Uh, Danzy Swanson solid defensively. Duvall can hit it a ton whenever when when you need him to. Eddie Rosario still out there. Marcelo Zuna is still out there. I like Jock Peter. Playoff Jock is a thing, Carl. I hope you enjoyed Playoff Jock Peterson because because he can be pretty clutch. There's Estevan Floreal to 75. Right, and Freddie Freeman's a pro. I mean, no one's worried about Freddie Freeman, right? Even, even after that slump at the beginning of the year. There's Andy Young to 75. This might be your autograph hot box. Blue velocity for the Diamondbacks. Adam Richards, 21 out of 75. Here's Chris Bubich to 125, rated rookie, orange autograph for the Royals. That's going to be for Chris Parent. Yeah, I think I see. I kind of I think I see where Oliver's going with this. Maybe it just comes down to whoever has home field advantage between that Braves Brewers series. Josh Fleming, yeah, this is the autograph hot box. Here's our third one. Josh Fleming, rated rookie, pink velocity for Jerry Bennington and Tampa Bay. Nick Nider is your fourth of five autographs, 49 out of 75. <laughs> right, for boob, boobs for boobage. There's Nick Nider, 49 out of 75. For the Marlins, the fish. Alex Fogel with the fish. Starling Marte to 35. There's Max Scherzer to 125, Nats edition. Going to Ryan Harold. Luis Rodriguez, rated prospect, hollow. Should be one more autograph here. There it is. And we've got Bo Bichette. Yes. For the Toronto Blue Jays, Bo Bichette autograph going to Bennett and the Blue Jays. Nice one, Bennett. Blue Jay, pretty nice season for the Blue Jays. Even though they, they didn't really have a home for a good chunk of the season, I wonder if the Blue Jays played at home, right? Because they were bound, they bounced around a little bit. Do you think they would have made the playoffs?
One wonders. I think I think they they've got a pretty uh, they got a pretty good team. I think was I, I think I someone had asked maybe was it you Carl maybe maybe it was someone else I mean, someone was asking about like maybe it was Stephen Punk earlier. All the awards MVP Cy Youngs. I mean the the Blue Jays have a, have probably. Probably your AL Cy Young Award winner, Robbie Ray. They got Hyunjin Ru on that team. I feel like they got youngster Nate Pearson on that rotation. I think they've got a decent bullpen. They can definitely hit the ball. They've got a lot of great position players. So if they if their home situation is more settled next season, which it should be, um, I wonder if that that's going to be the difference. I mean, you know, they'll add some pieces. Other guys will have a a year under their belt, another year under their belt. So if you kind of think about it, what the Blue Jays did without, for a good chunk of the season, not playing at home, if not all the season. Anyway, whatever the case may be, I mean, they almost made a playoff spot. So all the youngsters with an extra year under their belts, if they add some more pieces in the off season, you know, freshen up the squad a little bit, Ooh. Yeah, Robbie Ray just could never, yeah. I mean, he would have a brilliant start every once in a while. So, like, the strikeout stuff was definitely there. Like, you can see that there was going to be some swing and miss stuff for Robbie Ray. But yeah, control was a bit of an issue. Walks were a bit of an issue. But I think when he went to Toronto, he really just, according to him, he really just changed his mechanics, changed that like everything, like in his in his in his pitching motion, which I think was was huge for him. There's Mickey Moniak again to 199, and Christian Javier to 35 for the Nats, or for the Astros, that is. That's for Jonathan. Is this a autograph hot box here? Or, uh, sorry, a parallel hot box? Maybe, there's Kenta Maeda. Different parallel here, but not numbered. That'll ship though. Ooh, a four out of five, Heston Kirkstad. Nice. So what's this parallel officially called? Because the greens are out of five. No, that's just for base cards. What about rated prospect autographs out of five? Optic autographs, rated rookies. Rated prospect signatures. Green is out of five. They don't have a, this is not, that's not green. Well, this is something mysterious that's not on the, oh, they have a Carolina blue that's 35 or out of five. So this is Carolina blue out of five. That's pretty sharp. Mark with Baltimore, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. So not a parallel hot box. There's a rated prospect hollow for Kershaw as well. And not an autograph hot box. And we'll see what's in that last box. Should have one more auto in this too, no? It's Christian Yelich to 125 for the Brew Crew. And there it is. There's Christian Javier, some ink this time. Rated rookie, hollow, and autograph for the Strohs. Jonathan, last spot mojo, strikes again. 70% of the time, 100% of the time. 
All right, final box coming up. All right, fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Now's the time to start, start asking for hits. But get the lucky rabbit's foot. Get the lucky horseshoes. Cross those fingers. Pray to your God. And best of luck. Uh, I don't remember, Abram, but I'm going to do a recap after this last box. So you'll see if there's any any Padres ink. All right, and pick your team two is down to eight if you want to do the second half of the case. And Origins three still holding at 17 teams left. That's the other new release. So grab those teams, pick your teams if you see them on jazbeescasebreak.com. Otherwise, that Origins probably a really great candidate to end up being in some sort of filler. So my advice to you, get those teams now, unless you want a filler. Sometimes I get the impression people don't like fillers. So if you want to avoid those, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Sixth and final box, first half of the case. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. We got a Dylan Carlson autograph, rated rookie auto for the Redbirds. Mark with the Cardinals. Is he in the starting lineup tonight? I think the lineups are out. Yeah, Dylan Carlton's batting fifth tonight. Tommy Edmond, Paul Goldschmidt, Tyler O'Neill, Nolan Arenado, Dylan Carlson, Yachty, Edmundo Sosa, Harrison Bader, and Adam Wainwright pitching tonight. That's four out of 30 on that one. For the Dodgers, Betts, Seager, Trey Turner, Justin Turner, Will Smith, A.J. Pollock, Matt Beatty, Cody Seager, and Max Scherzer. And we got a Leody Tavares. Signature series autograph for the Rangers, Patrick Davis. <laughs> Rebel saying go cards. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough team. Tough team for the Dodgers. Should be a good game, I hope. C.J. Abrams, rated Prospect Hollow. Zach Gallen, Pink Velocity at 249. Yeah, Matt Beatty got the start, which was interesting. I thought they'd work in Gavin Lux somewhere, but, but no, Matt Beatty with a start. Matt Beatty has, has shown that he can be big in some clutch spots. There's to 199, Brian Reynolds, red, white, and blue. So let's see how he does with the, with the start. Mookie Betts, 21 out of 60. For the boys in blue, Oliver with the Dodgers. And Zach McKinstry, rated rookie hollow. And is that it? Looks like that's it. Kyle Lewis, Jared Kalnick. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, right. It was Leo Tavares and Dylan Carlson were your two autos. There you go, boys and girls. 
Um, looks like, so we had one autograph hotbox and we had one parallel hotbox and there's supposed to be four. Two autograph hotboxes and two parallel hotboxes. So those other two should be on the other side on the second half. So let's get that going on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for, well, let's do a quick recap. And then I'll see you next time for the next break. So just a quick little autograph recap. Pretty nice stuff. A lot of great color in here, which is enjoyable. Mickey Moniacs, McKinstries, an out of five. Uh, Kirkstad and a Cabrian Hayes rated rookie autograph. Very solid stuff. Thanks, everybody. Again, I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com.